A polyhistidine tag is an amino acid motif in proteins that consists of at least six histidine residues, often at the N or C terminus of the protein. It is also known as hexahistidine tag, 6X his tag, his 6 tag and by the trademarked name his tag. The tag was invented by Roche, although the use of histidines and its vectors are distributed by Kajan. Various purification kits for histidine tagged proteins are available from Kajan, Sigma, Thermo Scientific, GE Healthcare, Macaray Nagel, Klontek, BioRad, and others. The use of the tag for academic users is unrestricted. However, commercial users must pay royalties to Roche. The original patent expired on February 11, 2003, and thus should be now public property. Current claims to royalties are based on a much narrower set of more recent patents. Suitable tag sequences are available free for commercial use. For example, MK, headquarters, SIGS may be used for enhanced expression in E. coli and tag removal. The total number of histidine residues may vary in the tag. The his tag may also be followed by a suitable amino acid sequence that facilitates a removal of the polyhistidine tag using endopeptidases. This extra sequence is not necessary if ichopeptidases are used to remove N-terminal his tags. Furthermore, ichopeptidase cleavage may solve the unspecific cleavage observed when using endoprotease based tag removal. Polyhistidine tags are often used for affinity purification of genetically modified proteins. Applications equals Protein purification equals, polyhistidine tags are often used for affinity purification of polyhistidine tagged recombinant proteins expressed in Escherichia coli and other prokaryotic expression systems. Bacterial cells are harvested via centrifugation and the resulting cell pellet lies either by physical means or by means of detergents and enzymes such as lysozyme or any combination of these. At this stage raw lysate contains the recombinant protein among many other proteins originating from the bacterial host. This mixture is incubated with an affinity resin containing bound bivalent nickel or cobalt ions, which are available commercially in different varieties. Nickel and cobalt have similar properties and as they are adjacent period for transition metals. These resins are generally sephirose agarose functionalized with a chelata, such as imidinoacetic acid and nitrilatriacetic acid for nickel and carboxylmethylaspartate for cobalt, which the polyhistidine tag binds with micromolar affinity. The resin is then washed with phosphate buffer to remove proteins that do not specifically interact with the cobalt or nickel ion. With knee based methods, washing efficiency can be improved by the addition of 20 mm imidazole. Generally, nickel based resins have higher binding capacity while cobalt-based resins offer the highest purity. The purity and amount of protein can be assessed by SDS page and western blotting. Affinity purification using a polyhistidine tag usually results in relatively pure protein when the recombinant protein is expressed in prokaryotic organisms. Depending on downstream applications, including the purification of protein complexes to study protein interactions, Purification from higher organisms such as yeasts or other eukaryotes may require a tandem affinity purification using two tags to yield higher purity. Alternatively, single-step purification using immobilized cobalt ions rather than nickel ions generally yields a substantial increase in purity and requires lower imidazole concentrations for elution of the his-tagged protein. Polyhistidine tagging is the option of choice for purifying recombinant proteins in denaturing conditions because its mode of action is dependent only on the primary structure of proteins. Generally for this sort of a technique, histidine binding is titrated using pH instead of imidazole binding euro at a high pH, histidine binds to nickel or cobalt, but at low pH, histidine becomes protonated and is competed off of the metal ion. Compare this to antibody purification and GST purification, a prerequisite to which is the proper folding of proteins involved. Polyhistidine tag columns retain several well-known proteins as impurities. One of them is FKBP type peptidyl polyisomerase, which appears around 25 kDAR. Impurities are generally eliminated using a secondary chromatographic technique or by expressing the recombinant protein in a slightly deficient E. coli strain. 
Alternatively cobalt-based resins do not bind CID from E. coli and can be used for a single-step purification. 1. Equals separating 1 from 2 polyhistidine tags equals, proteins with different numbers of polyhistidine tags elute differently from nickel affinity resin. For proteins with a single hexhistidine tag, 75 mm imidazole enables elution from Ni NTA, whereas for proteins with two hexhistidine tags, 100 mm imidazole is required for elution. This stepwise elution may be used to isolate specific protein assemblies from a mixture, such as defined heteromultimers. Such an approach was used in isolation of monovalent streptavidin. Equals binding assays equals, polyhistidine tagging can be used to detect protein-protein interactions in the same way as a pull-down assay. However, this technique is generally considered to be less sensitive, and also restricted by some of the more finicky aspects of this technique. For example, reducing conditions cannot be used, EDTA and many types of detergents cannot be used. Recent advances in dual polarization interferometry is amenable to EDTA and a wider use of reagents, and the use of such site-specific tags greatly simplifies the direct measurement of associated conformational change. Equals fluorescent tags equals, hexastadine C-dye tags have also been developed. These use nickel covalent coordination to EDTA groups attached to fluorophores in order to create dyes that attach to the polyhistidine tag. This technique has been shown to be effective for following protein migration and trafficking. There has also been recent discoveries that show this technique may be effective in order to measure distance via fluorescent resonance energy transfer. Adding polyhistidine tags. The most common polyhistidine tags are formed of six histidine residues, which are added at the N terminus preceded by methanine or C terminus before a stop codon, in the coding sequence of the protein of interest. The choice of the end where his tag is added will depend mainly on the characteristics of the protein and the methods chosen to remove the tag. Some ends are buried inside of the protein core and others are important for the protein function or structure. In those cases the choice is limited to the other end. On the other hand, most available ectopyptidases can only remove the his tag from the end terminus. Removing the tag from the C terminus will require the use of other techniques. There are two ways to add polyhistidines. The most simple is to insert the DNA encoding the protein in a vector encoding a his tag so that it will be automatically attached to one of its ends. Another technique is to perform a PCR with primers that have repetitive histidine codons right next to the start or STOP codon in addition to several bases from one end of the DNA encoding the protein to be tagged. Example of primer designed to add a 6x his tag using PCR. 18 bases coding 6 histidines are inserted right after the start codon or right before the STOP codon. At least 16 bases specific to the gene of interest are needed next to the his tag. With 6 his, the protein will have an added 1 kdar of molecular weight. Note, often, a linker is placed between the protein of interest and the 6 his tag. This is to prevent the polyhistidine tag from affecting the activity of the protein being tagged. Detection, the polyhistidine tag can also be used to detect the protein via antipolyhistidine tag antibodies or alternatively by in gel staining with fluorescent probes bearing metal ions. This can be useful in subcellular localization, ELISA, Western blotting or other immunoanalytical methods. Immobilization, the polyhistidine tag can be successfully used for the immobilization of proteins on a surface such as on a nickel or cobalt coated microtitter plate or on a protein array. See also, protein tag. References, Hokulai, E. Benworth, W. Dar Paragraph Belly, H. Gents, R. Star One Quarter Bear. D genetic approach to facilitate purification of recombinant proteins with a novel metal chelate adsorbent. Nature Biotechnology 6, 1321 Euro 1325. doi 10.1038 NBT 1188-1321. Hengen, P. Purification of his tag fusion proteins from Escherichia coli. Trends in Biochemical Sciences 20. 285 a euro 6 doi 10.1038/nbt 
10.1016 per second 0968-0004-00, 89045 PMID 7667882. Gavin, A.C. Bar Paragraph SCHE, M. Krauss, R. Grandi, P. Matioch, M. Bauer, A. Schultz, J. Rick, JMAL Functional Organization of the Yeast Protome by Systematic Analysis of Protein Complexes. Nature 415, 141 a Euro 7 doi, 10.1038-415,141 a. PMID 11805826. Howarth, Mark. Chinnerton, Daniel J. F. Giro, Kimberly. Derestine, Peter C. Grandy, Melanie R. Kelly, Neil L. El Husseini, Aloha. Ting, Alice Y. A monovalent streptavidin with a single femtomolar biotin binding site. Nature Methods 3, 267 Euro 73 doi, 10.1038 slash myth 861. PMC 2576293. PMID 16554831. Tsaw. C. Hillman, L. M. Zinn, X. Bowman, W. S. Whitehart, S. W. Fried, M. G. Hexstadin tag specific optical probes for analyses of proteins and their interactions. Analytical Biochemistry 399, 237 a Euro 45 doi, 10.1016-JAB. 2009.12.028. PMC 2832190. PMID 20036207.